Well, ladies and gentlemen, we bless God this morning. This is a day the Lord has made will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, you know, I told someone the first miracle that God performed in our life in the morning is by waking us up from our bed. You know, many people went to bed and they have a special plan today that, oh, I'm going to do this tomorrow, I'm going to do this. But unfortunately for them, they were unable to wake up. But the Bible says, by grace we are saved through faith. It is not of ourselves, neither any man should boast. So today we are not living because we are so righteous. No, we are living by the grace of God. So we, we just bless God for everything. We always need to be in the position to give our God praise. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 150 verse 6, Let everything that have breath praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord. So we should always be grateful to our God. But ladies and gentlemen, this morning I want us to, to go into the word of God and I want to look at a unique topic called a new beginning, a new beginning in Christ. So uh, many of all, we, we have been living in the past, even though we, we, we see our life, our life we live in today is not the same as compared to 20, 25 years ago or two years ago, but we are still thinking about those things in the past. But this morning, if you have a Bible, we want you to turn to the book of 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. It's a familiar scripture. The Bible says, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have begun new. So it means, uh, when you were in the war, doing those things to glorify the devil, doing those things to please yourself, you wanted to satisfy your flesh. Listen, but God sent his servant to you and the minister to you and you are convicted through the word of God and you decided to give your life to Jesus Christ. <laughs> but even when you give your life to Christ, your life is not the same. You have a new beginning in Christ. Listen, so the Bible is saying that we have a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. What are some of the newness of life? For example, maybe you was a murderer, or you was a, a fornicator, or you was a great liar. But since you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you don't need to do those things again. Your life need to shine. Your life need to be a new life. Let other people see your life to give their life to Christ. A new beginning. Let me read what I have. We say everyone appreciates a new start. Everyone in life want a new start. Everyone need a new page, a new beginning. Our lives are filled with new beginnings on every chapter. So, a new job. Everyone need a new job, a new city, a new family, a new goals, a new mind, and a new heart. So, listen to me. Everybody need to uh, live a new life. You see, some of us are Christian. We gave our life to Jesus like 20 years ago or 5 years ago. But certain portion of our life, we saw ourselves, we backslide from the faith. And we found ourselves doing those things that we ought not to do. But what we need to do right now is not late. So you are a new creation in Christ. Your life need to be new. That what Paul said in the book of Romans chapter 12. He said, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you renew your mind. He said, be now a confirmed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, you, you see, we need to present our body as a living sacrifice to God. Since we are living a new life, our life need to be what? Different. A new beginning in Christ. So, if you are in Christ, if you are by in Christ and me, you have nothing to do with the world. Today, many people call themselves Christian, but they are still doing things to glorify the devil. But I pass by to tell you that since you have a new start in your life, you need to live in the present, but not in the past. You see, many of us today, we still want to live in the past. Because last, the, the last time like you were frustrated, so you feel you will be frustrated again today. No. You need to renew your mind. The Bible says, if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creature. All the Bible say, a newborn baby. All things are passed away. All things are begun new. The way you used to talk. Sometimes you just used to curse people anytime. 
we all regret. But now, you no longer live in the past, so you don't need to do that again. Many of us, we, we were living in a, 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 a sin. Doing those things that we ought not to do. But since we have given our life to Jesus Christ, we need to set our affection on God. We need to set our mind on God. We need to put off the old man. So, I would just like to read. We got a lot of things we're supposed to talk about, but I just want to take like less than 10 minutes of your time today so that we can look at the new beginning. You need a new style, a new job, a new goals in your life. So, let us see the book of Colossians. If you have a Bible there, we want you to check the book of Colossians chapter 3. Uh, we will read from verse 8. They said, now, but now all, oh, are you there? But now, ye also put out all these things. Anger. You see, the Bible is saying, if we have a new beginning in Christ, we need to put away anger. You know those days that when you are living in the past, any small thing makes you so angry. And you even destroy a lot of things because of anger. But the Bible is saying since you are in Christ now, you need to put away your anger. That's one of the things we really need to do. To put away our anger. That's what the Bible says. Do not allow the sun to go down on your anger. Some of all we we sometimes we get vexed with people that we say, Oh, I will never speak to that person again. You've been living that five years. I will not talk to my own mom again. I will not speak to my dad because you know he makes me so mad. Or uh, somebody you call your friend because of anger. You call her the friendship. You know, anger may ought to do things that we are not to do. Even in the church house, because you are angry with somebody, and the usher tell you, "Come and sit beside the person." You say, "No, I can't sit there," because you classify the person to be your enemy. Listen, the only person that's also be your enemy is the devil and demons. Put away anger. What's the next thing? The Bible say, "Oh, wrath." Malice, you know, sometimes we just we just have that hatred for people, animosity in our heart for somebody. We just desire for evil things to happen to people every day. But those those things they are not right. When you are living in the past, all those things you used to do it. But since you are given your life to Jesus Christ, the Bible says we should pull off all of those things. A new beginning in Christ. A new beginning in Christ. Blasphemy. Many of all, we don't believe the working of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes when God knows a seven to perform a miracle, you are so incredulous, you are so doubtful. You doubt it. You are not looking at, you see, don't look at the individual, but look at the power of God that has been manifested. The Bible says we should pull off all of those things, blaspheming. What's the next thing? Oh, filthy uh, communication. Filthy communication. You see, many of all we had dirty walls. We just speak anything, anytime. We don't, we don't even uh, uh, care if it hurts somebody or not. Filthy communication. The Bible says, since you are giving your life to Jesus Christ, you need to put off filthy communication from your mouth. I don't know how many of us. You are father of Christ, but stay. You just cause people. You just do anything. You just behave rude. You do things that that, that don't bring glory to God. But the Bible says we should put off a filthy communication from our mouth. It says, lie not to one another. Many of us, we can lie on a daily basis. Sometimes you lie and you say, oh, this is just part of life. But the Bible says, the place for a liar is the what? The lake of hell in the book of Revelation. So if we continue to lie and we are not in a position to repent, we will find ourselves going to hell. But I pray that that would not be our portion. So we will soon be ending this. Oh, the Bible says, lie not to one another. Colossians 8, I mean, we started uh, chapter 3, we started 8 we're on now. Learn not to one another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his old deeds. So you see, 
new beginning in Christ, one of the points today is we need to pull off the old man. Pull off the old man. Let people be surprised of your life. So, but this man was a great fornicator. But what happened? He said, yes, I no longer live in our life because I have a new beginning in Christ. <laughs> oh, that man was a deceiver. Oh, the girl, she, she was a gossiper. But we cannot see her gossiping again. Why? Tell the person because I have a new beginning in Christ. That is, if you give your life to Christ, your entire life need to change for the better. The Spirit of God is there to help you. So, in conclusion, I want to encourage you today. Live your life for Jesus Christ. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Many of all, when we're going to work, we're always on time. But when we're going to church, we're always late. <laughs> People leave activities of the church and go for party and go for other things to satisfy themselves. My pastor's about to tell you you need to go back to your first love. A new beginning in Christ. Everything need to be what? New. Everything of your life need to change for the better. It is my prayer that every one of us will live our life for God. That when Jesus Christ comes tomorrow, he will say, Welcome, my true and faithful servant. Listen, you don't need to live your life like there is no God. <laughs> Wickedness today has taken over the entire earth. So we need to stay in a holy place. Continue to read your Bible. Continue to pray. Continue to go in the presence of God. That's the best thing we need to do. It is my prayer that God will help every one of us to remain in the faith. God bless you. I'm Pastor J. Uji the Shield from Champion Temple International Fargo. It is my prayer that God will help you and uh, you are also invited to worship with all. Uh, the church is on uh, 25th Street, Terre Avenue North. So anytime you are welcome. Once again, God bless you. Have a new beginning in Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen.